How's it going guys? Lucian Sword here playing some more Brawlhalla for you today as always. Hope you're all having a fantastic day wherever you guys might be. Today's episode is kind of special because we're going to be showing the winners of our Battle Pass Fashion Holla contest that I did in my Discord server, the Sword Cord. By the way, everybody's welcome to join the Sword Cord. The link to join is in the video description, so look for that. And uh, yeah, every now and then I do contests different kinds of contests and I give away community colors, I give away skins and in this case I also gave away a uh, battle pass premium so if you want to be in on those contests be sure to join so anyways this video is going to show the top five voted uh, loadouts that have to do with the battle pass and I'm going to try to uh, play games with those loadouts now i don't have the battle pass completely finished myself so some of the loadouts use items that i don't have so i can i can show you what the loadout looks like in training because in training you can use every single item if you didn't know uh but uh if if i don't have the item then i'm gonna try to get as close to it as possible so <laughs> without further ado let's start uh we're doing top five Let's start at number five. Number five is called Feline Friends. It looks like this. This was submitted by, hold on one second. This was submitted by, okay, the name is literally, hmm. <laughs> the person's name is, hmm. And that's what it looks like. So, uh, Soulfire Yumiko, Fox Spirit Yumiko with the, uh, the Taros Hammer. And it looks like the Shinsekai Koji Bow with the Kitsune uh, sidekick. I'm pretty sure I have all of those items. So let's go into uh, 1v1. Let's go Yumiko, I have the skin. Oh, I don't think I have Soulfire Yumiko though. Oh, I do! Oh, you are in luck. I think I could do this entire thing. So uh, the bow is the Shinsekai Koji bow, uh, which looks like that. And then the hammer, that's actually a really good look, by the way, this battle pass look. The reason I wanted to do this contest is because there's so many new items and, and and the new color in this battle pass that I knew there would be so many awesome new combinations. All right, there it is, the verdict. And then the Kitsune sidekick, of course! Uh, there we go. This one's called Feline Friends by Hmm. Really hope I don't lag because yesterday I was getting some serious lag when I was playing this game. All right, here we go. Going against Tony Seven Underscore Seven One, the Julius Caesar clan. That's kind of a cool name for a clan. Get the mouse off the screen for you guys. All right, first game with feline friends. Let's see how we do. Oh, this is looking awesome. Look at the hammer, it goes so well with this skin too. He did not like that one bit. Nice dodge. Baby, how do I do that heavy punch? I wasn't even over there. Maybe just like a, a weird reaction. Oh, I should have done neutral. Nope! <laughs> GG dude, GG. Ooh, a three stock too. 
Oh, I love that podium. It looks so good. Oh, I didn't do any of the challenges. Oh, well. All right. The next winner, guys, number four, is from Exotica, and it's called Mystic Soul Val. It looks like this. This is the number four top voted Mystic Soul Val. So we got uh, Mythic Hero Val, Soul Fire Colors. Those gauntlets are from the uh, Obake Petra, I'm pretty sure. And then that sword. And then the, uh, the blue demon dude for the sidekick. So let's go ahead and see if I can do this. I don't know if I have Soul Fire for Val. I do! Oh my gosh, we are getting really lucky on this. All right, Mythic Hero Val, got it, got it. Now the gauntlets, I'm pretty sure are Obake. Let's let's find them. I'm pretty sure I have every gauntlet. Oh, uh, right here, Spirit Breaker. Yep. And I even have the level three version, so that's cool. And then the sword uh, is this one, I think. Betrayal. Oops. Uh, sidekick also is Blue Oni. I said Blue Demon. Pretty close. This is called Mystic Soul Val by Exotica. I think the name was Exotica, yep. Oh, this is gonna be nice. You rarely ever see this skin. Ever. Do you guys ever see that skin, the Val skin, Mystic Hero Val? It, it makes Val look so different. Maybe this is before Val became like a cyborg, huh? I'm just happy I even can do like both of these. Oh! Oh! Got her with that! Check out these gauntlets, they look really cool with soul fire too. Mistakes were made. I love this stage. Stop. I warned you. Go, boys! Ooh. Oh my goodness, what a play! Final stocks, guys, final stocks! I was just getting ready to try to do a sig up the wall, but I couldn't do it. GG. That down sig kind of takes forever to recover from, don't it? GG, well played, dude. Well played. Oh, wait. Did I get any challenges? Yeah. Sword damage and ground pound KOs. I got two ground pounds on that dude. All right. That was number four voted. Number three is called from, from Zodiac Shogun Total Tengu. And it looks like this. Boom. 
Shogun Total Tengu. This is the third most voted Battle Pass Fashion Hala. It really doesn't use any Battle Pass items other than the Tengu uh, sidekick and the avatar right there. And unfortunately, I don't think I have that sidekick yet. Maybe I do. Let's try. So I'm going to try and get as close to it as I can. Uh, we got Tengu Koji. He didn't show what colors. I Actually, he did. They were they were regular colors. We could do Soulfire, but that, that wouldn't be true to what was voted. So we're not going to do that. The bow was the fire bow, which I do have. Let me find. There's more than one bow that looks like a f flame bow, I guess. The bow, right here, Reign of Fire. And then the sword is right there, Ancestor's Flame. And the sidekick, do I have it? I do not. But I have this Oni. Different Oni. Um, so we're going to have to use that one. And then, of course, the Avatar is this one. No, 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 this one. Fire Oni. All right. So almost exactly on, except for the sidekick. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. I'm actually doing this a lot. But so when do I get the sidekick? Ah, I'm I'm a, I'm a little bit away. I'm level 37. It's 46. I'm nine levels from the sidekick. All right. This one's called Shogun Total Tengu. Pretty dang close. I'm literally still using an Oni sidekick. What are the odds that there's two two sidekicks that are Oni flavor? So even though I didn't get the battle pass one, I you know pretty dang close. Pretty dang close. Going against VMC Crack. Uh, playing as Volkov. I had to think for a second. Yeah, that's that's a Volkov for sure. All right, Volkov is probably gonna be tough. Don't come over here. Got him, boys. Ooh, nice one. That's all right. We got him almost to orange, and he's on second stock. This is looking good for us. meant to do a neutral sig Ooh, too much force on that ground pound man Final stock, final stock. Come on, baby. G 
GG, dude, GG. Shogun, Total Tango. <laughs> too good, too good, man. Oh, well played, well played. All right. Number two, highest voted Battle Pass Fashion Holla from Madre Club. I always have uh, trouble saying that. We'll just call her uh, Chips. Full Kitsune. Fox Spirit Yumiko. This is what it looks like. Boom. Full Kitsune. Of course! This would be one of them. We got the Kitsune Sidekick. We got the uh, Tori Gate Hammer. The Yumiko Bow. I forget what that one's called. It's from the, the edgy Yumiko. And then the Fox Spirit Yumiko. Just default colors. Nothing fancy there. Alright. Let's see if I can uh, replicate that. I think I can. So we have... Another Yumiko, by the way. Default, Fox Spirit Yumiko. The bow is... Let me find the bow. I don't remember what it's called, but I know what it looks like. Wait, there it is. Shadow Bolt. The hammer right here, Gatekeeper. And uh, the sidekick, of course, Kitsune. That's it. Full Kitsune. Number two, most voted. Fashion Hala. Battle Pass Fashion Holla. Man, there are some excellent submissions also that weren't in the top five. Just wanted to put that out there. And uh, if you want to look at all the other submissions, you can find the archive to the contest in my Discord server. Two, Going against Bluefu as Gragach. Bye bye. Quit spamming neutral sig off edge. It is really good though. Ow. Little bit of lag, but nothing too much. Oh baby, that neutral sig read. I'm not really getting leg, it's more like frame rate stuttering. How am I not grabbing with that? Ooh, Taros down sig! Too strong! GG dude, GG. Alright guys, last but not least. Last but not least. We have the number one voted skin, or Fashion Holla loadout, I should say. It's from Rappa, and this one is called The Glowing Ghoul. That's what it looks like. The Glowing Ghoul by Rappa. This one has Soulfire Colors, Dunaha and Jiro, the Scythe is the Pale Horse, and the Sword is the Eternal Flame Sword, which obviously I do not have. The sword you can only get by completing the battle pass. Like level 84 or 85, whatever the last level is. I obviously do not have the sword. And then the uh, Wendigo sidekick and Soulfire colors. So I'm going to have to do something very similar to the sword. I will show you what it looks like in training. As I said, I would. Um, let's see. Where is Jiro? 
So, Dulahan Jiro, I do have... Oh, we can even look at Crimson Oni! I didn't know that. Um, Dulahan Jiro, right? I don't think I have Soul, Soul Fire Jiro either, but... Pale Horde, uh, the sword, where is the most amazing of swords? I cannot wait to get it. There it is. Eternal Flame Sword. The Scythe is... I do have the Scythe. It's from Apocalypse Mirage. Pale Horse. And the Wendigo I also have. So this is the loadout. This is what it would look like. Let's go ahead and, and use it really quick in training, and then I'll actually jump into a game. I actually have never looked at the sword uh, before. Oh my gosh. That's what the sword looks like. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Unfortunately, I won't be able to use this. And that's the... Uh, oh, another sword. Okay. Well, I already have the scythe, so... That's what the skin should look like. Now, let's try and match it as best as I can. So, Dulahan Jiro. I don't have uh, Soul Fire colors. So, in the absence of Soul Fire colors, I'm going to have to do the next closest thing, which I think is Charged OG. And for a sword, I only have one other sword that's animated, I think. And that's the Shinsekai Koji sword. So, we might have to use this one, Power Surge. It's not nearly as cool as the other one but it's as close as i got and then the pale pale horse pale whatever it's called i do have that pale horse and then uh wendigo i do have so there you go guys this one is called glowing ghoul i guess i'll go defense definitely looks better the way that he had it like this definitely amazing but we gotta do what we gotta do. Once I get to the level 85 battle pass, if I remember, uh, I will do this loadout. Alright, we're going against Yadagarasu, uh, Sidra. And she's using the battle pass cannon as well. I think she's got gold forge colors with the gold forge Sidra. And the Kitsune uh, sidekick, very nice. <laughs> oh, a little bit of lag. Nice dodge. She dodged my neutral sig like a pro, dude. Oh, look at that sword, though. Cool it with the... Oh, he got totally bamboozled there. He got bamboozled by my down sick. with that sword down sig I'm just playing around now oh man no what okay <laughs> I had one more stock so it's all right GG dude GG that was kind of a weird match but hey we got it oh tear up if I get soul fire Jiro, I swear. Oh, okay, just battle pass. And the Demon Scream avatar. Cool, cool, cool. Wouldn't that have been epic if I got a Soul Fire Legend and it was Jiro? I would have done the, the challenge. I would have done it again, but played Jiro that time. 
All right, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. Please drop a like. If you did, be sure to subscribe for more Brawlhalla content. This was really fun. Uh, and we're going to be doing more contests in the future. So be sure to uh, join my Discord server. Link in the description. And as always, guys, this is Lucian Sword. I hope to see you in the next episode. Take it easy, friends.